Okay, thank you for joining our webinar. Um, we are going to be specifically talking about Nureva audio solutions uh, and how they can support a very scalable uh, microphone technology platform. Um, so I'm joined today by uh, Michael Wilcox, um, who works in our marketing team. Uh, he's going to be assisting me today. Um, so I'm just going to start off uh, going through a bit of content and then we will be doing a, uh, a live demo as well. Um, so just to try and set the scene uh, with regards to uh, the content, um, Nareva have been in the audio market for just over two years now. Um, and there's a couple of recent updates uh, to go through in relation to their product family. Some of the uh, key questions that we want to try and just uh, discuss. Uh, first of all, why is audio important in the meeting room? Well, uh, certainly there's discussions about the importance of uh, video conferencing at the moment, but obviously without audio and good quality audio, um, it creates a very disconnected and disjointed experience. Um, and in terms of some of the trends that Nareva were seeing in the market before COVID, um, we're going to talk about this a little bit later as well. But um, we were specifically seeing a, a large trend towards uh, increasing the number of rooms that were enabled specifically around smaller rooms, so huddle spaces. Um, and Nareva have a new product called the HDL 200 that we're going to be talking about, which can be used in those smaller spaces. But just picking up on what the trends are that we're seeing since um, the COVID virus has hit the world, um, the main things are a move towards uh, people wanting to enable uh, a large number of rooms quickly uh, and also looking at how they can enable medium to large size spaces to support um, meeting rooms where social distancing uh, can be applied rather than focusing on those smaller spaces um, that were certainly being discussed significantly before um, COVID took place. Um, and what we're going to try and tackle today is that last question, which is how um, Nareva Audio can support these trends uh, that we're beginning to see in the market. So just in terms of uh, Nareva's audio platform, there are three elements to it. So on the left hand side there, you've got microphone mist technology. And this is their patented um, technology that um, is built into all of their products. Um, and we're going to try and explain a little bit more about how Microphone Mist works in a moment. Um, but in essence, uh, you've got a technology which allows a front um, microphone system in the form of the hardware, which look like speaker bars, to be put into a room and the system can auto calibrate itself to the space. Um, the hardware is obviously required um, in order for you to get access to Microphone Mist because it's all built into the hardware. Um, and we're going to go through the hardware options in a moment. And then you also have a management platform called Nareva Console, um, which we're going to explain in a bit more detail about in a moment as well. But those are the three elements to the actual audio platform. So let's just talk about microphone mist technology and how it's different to other technologies that are available in the market. Um, on the left hand side there, you've got an example of a omnidirectional microphone. So these are um, usually the cheaper systems, which you could think of as things like spider phones that would sit in the middle of a table. Um, and the, that technology is based upon proximity. So the closer you are to the microphone, the better the quality of the pickup will be. And as you move further away from it, you'll notice reduction in the quality of the pickup to a point where it may become difficult to be heard. Um, beam forming is uh, a very popular technology as it's been coming in the last uh, five or six years. Um, usually it involves a um, system being installed into the ceiling um, and then you have these beams or some manufacturers call them lobes. Um, that you can position and point at different uh, parts of the room. And when you have a room where the positions that people are going to be sitting is predefined, um, such as a boardroom, this can be a very effective uh, technology. But certainly with more uh, spaces before COVID being focused around what uh, Nareva called active collaboration, uh, i.e. people using whiteboards and flip charts and interactive screens, um, but now with the uh, recent measures around things like social distancing, 
um, that technology can cause some challenges. And on the right hand side there, you have the microphone mist uh, technology, which we're trying to get visualized. So essentially the uh, technology creates a virtual grid and we talk about virtual microphones. Um, in the case of the HDL 300, which is the mid range product, there are 8,192 virtual microphones. And essentially this grid um, can be stretched um, up to certain dimensions, which we'll go through in a second in order to provide um, positional uh, pickup and positional gain. And the important thing here is that the technology is learning the size of the room without having to be programmed. Um, and that means that it knows where you are within the space, which then leads to some interesting options of what you can try and do, not just in term, in, in the term of um, um, focusing purely on microphone pickup, that Nareva are looking at for their future roadmap as well. So just to apply this to that challenge of social distancing, uh, we're in a meeting room today, which is roughly five meters by five meters. We're sat at a table which pre COVID would have uh, accommodated six people. Um, as you can see, we've removed a couple of chairs and moved them to the sides of the room. Um, some people are talking about reducing the number of chairs by 50%. Some people are talking about 75%. Some people are even talking 25% um, uh, of the total capacity before COVID being allowed. Um, but whatever your preferred configuration is, um, we do believe that there's gonna be a reduction in the number of physical seats around uh, pre-existing furniture, and then maybe uh, seats being pushed out to parts of the room. So this diagram is just trying to represent that um, where you can see um, in the case of the omnidirectional and beam forming microphones, the um, uh, people who are in red are outside of the optimum pickup zone uh, and will therefore not necessarily not be heard at all, but may struggle to be heard. And that might mean people being asked to then come closer um, in order to get closer to the microphone or realizing that when they go and use something like a flip chart, which we've got in the corner of that image, uh, and they start writing on it, the people at the other end of the video call can't be heard. This also links into what we, we believe will become the new normal, as people are saying, which is this trend where a percentage of the workforce will probably remain remote um, for uh, potentially forever, but certainly for the foreseeable future. Um, and therefore, almost every meeting will become a video meeting and you'll end up with this hybrid scenario um, with people like Michael and I in the room together and then others um, needing to participate uh, whilst working from home. So just in terms of the hardware, um, I mentioned that there are different types of hardware. So the um, original product um, that Nareva produced is the middle one, the HDL 300. Um, looks like a soundbar, it's got speakers built in and 12 microphones running along the bottom of the unit. Um, and that will cover rooms of up to 7.6 by 7.6 meters. Um, obviously it works in rooms smaller than that as well um, because of the auto calibrating technology. On the left hand side, you've got the dual HDL 300, which was their next product. So this is combining two units together to enable you to cover much larger spaces of up to 15 uh, meters by nine meters, or alternatively putting two single units into two rooms that are next to each other with a divisible wall, and then having the option of using them in single mode where both rooms are running independently, but also then opening up that divisible wall um, and combining the two systems together to cover a space of up to 15 meters by nine meters. Uh, and then I mentioned the HDL 200, which is the latest addition to the range, um, which will work in spaces of up to 5.5 by 5.5 meters. So yeah, as I said earlier, this room is roughly five meters by five meters. So we believe these, this, these will be spaces which aren't huddle spaces necessarily but small to medium sized rooms that seat anywhere from four people up to potentially about 10 people, certainly eight people quite comfortably. Um, and um, the, the total range now um, essentially has the ability to cover any space of up to 15 meters by nine meters. 
So just in terms of some of the key advantages, uh, I've already mentioned a couple of times the auto calibration technology. Um, the unit is constantly uh, evaluating the room and it's evaluating the acoustics of the room as well. Um, so one of the things that Nareva built into the technology um, about nine months ago now is something called intelligent sound targeting. So with um, some of those beam forming technologies, you can eliminate noises such as uh, air conditioning systems. Um, Microphone Mist does that automatically. So it's listening to the room, it learns the size of the room, it learns that this room is five meters by five meters, and it learns that there's a noise constantly coming from a place in the ceiling, which is over two meters um, above the bottom, the floor, uh, the floor level. Um, and it identifies that as an unwanted noise um, based upon its proximity and the fact that it's, it's persistent. Um, and it automatically eliminates that noise from the audio that's being sent through the system. Obviously, Michael and I could still hear the air conditioning unit in the room, but the technology is eliminating the noise automatically. Next one across you've got is active zone control. So if I wanted to define an area um, that I wanted the microphone technology to focus upon, um, I could use active zone control. And this is uh, just a software GUI where you can literally just drag uh, the active zone to whatever size you want it to be. And it's based upon um, um, meters um, and centimeters and meters. So you can just drag the interface to whatever size you want that active zone to be. Uh, and a good example of this might be if you wanted to have a room set up where there was an area at the front that people present from um, and the rest of the room uh, is a space where people would gather to listen to that presentation. But you want the audio to focus on the presenter in case people in the audience are making noises. So it's, it's a very popular feature in uh, universities and higher education. Um, but there's also other examples in presentations and town hall meetings um, for businesses where this is also applied. And then um, down in the bottom left hand corner, we've got always advancing. Um, that's a very important point because you've got the microphone mist, which is software. You've also now got Nareva console, which is the management platform. And both of those software platforms will continue to develop. Um, and we'll try and talk about some examples of that development uh, a little bit later. Um, easy installation is another important factor. Um, the product does require installation because there's a couple of cables that need to be connected, it needs to be wall mounted and just set up and, and tested initially, but total installation time is about 30 minutes, um, which makes it very scalable to install and deploy. Um, and then you've also got the ability to have device management through um, the console platform we'll talk about in a moment. And we believe that the net result of all of these things is that you have a very budget friendly solution where you can confidently specify the um, technology that's required based upon the size of the room and very few other factors. You don't necessarily need to worry about the furniture configuration um, or the shape of the room. It just needs to fall within these parameters um, of um, the hardware that's being specified. So with that in mind, we're gonna do a quick demonstration of uh, us in this room. So I'm just gonna stand up and start walking around the room and just showing that I can go anywhere within this space. So I can stand right over here by the windows. I'm um, just making sure I can still be seen on the camera. I can turn and start looking out of the windows um, whilst I'm talking. And what you should be hearing is a natural, uh, consistent, uh, level of audio pickup as I move around the room. And then just to pick up on this point about social distancing, so if I decide to sit in this corner here, for example, uh, and Michael's going to go and sit in his corner, um, and I can continue talking uh, at a normal level, Michael. And if I was to talk like this, you could probably still hear me too. Yeah, absolutely. So um, one of the other things that you can do with the technology is um, uh, other microphone systems um, have, a, have a system where when the microphone is switching, for example, between those different lobes that I mentioned um, with the beamforming technology, uh, you can get clipping when people are talking together. 
So um, Michael and I are going to talk at the same time, um, giving Michael the easy task of counting from one to ten. And I've got the more challenging task of counting from ten to one. Um, and what you should hear is a very natural experience where there's no clipping or gating taking place. So one, ten, two, nine, three, eight, four, seven, five, six, six, five, five seven, four, eight, three, nine, two, ten. one. And the idea is that you get an experience which is as natural as possible. So consistent uh, audio throughout the space um, and also when people are talking over each other. Um, and then if I just turn around and start uh, uh, pretending that I'm writing on the wall, um, again, you should get the same quality of audio pick up as I start to move around, even with my back to the microphone um, and I'm talking at the wall. Um, I can continue to be anywhere in this space doing whatever I need to do um, in order to carry on um, being heard by those who are listening. And just one other quick example um, is that um, I can also start to do clicking on my on my keyboard and what should happen, in fact, sorry, I need to escape from my slide deck before I start doing this. But what should happen is that as I'm clicking on my keyboard, you can hear my voice being prioritized above the keystrokes. So when there's no, when I'm not talking, you should hear that uh, noise coming through fairly loud. Uh, and then as I start talking, the technology will recognize the human voice and prioritize it over things like keystrokes. So as I begin to talk, even though my keystrokes are the same, you can hear that audio coming through naturally and consistently. So just to jump back into our slide deck. So just in terms of some of the platforms that uh, we have customers using um, Narrave Audio with already. Um, so these are either existing customers or platforms where there's been extensive testing that's already been done uh, by Nureva. We also have configuration um, guides uh, for most of these. Um, there are certifications being worked on by Nureva at the moment, um, and there's a number of those names that we're going to be able to announce um, certifications for shortly. I can't say any more than that at the moment. Um, Nureva have also been doing a lot of work with uh, specific partners uh, such as Intel. So there's the Intel Unite platform that Nureva have already developed some specific plugins for. Um, so again, there's a, a, a much longer roadmap of development going on to integrate this technology into the existing platforms in the market. So just in terms of uh, uh, the actual hardware them, uh, themselves, um, this is the newest addition to the, the range. Um, which is the smallest unit, uh, works in rooms of up to 5.5 by 5.5 meters. Um, the, the, it has this, it's the only product that has this uh, full color screen on the front, which is just showing a clock at the moment. Um, but that screen is going to be interesting in, from the point of view that there's going to be the ability to have integration um, either at a local room level, in other words, for it to be displaying information from the local PC that it's connected to, or from the cloud. Um, so Nureva are looking at how they can integrate with other platforms, such as room booking systems, for example, in order to display different types of information on there. Uh, another example, picking up on Intel Unite, is displaying things like the joining code for the um, screen sharing session or the joining code for the um, uh, UCNC session that's taking place um, on that display. Uh, what, what you're going to get with that product immediately out of the box is the ability to have a clock, um, show the call status, whether the call is live, whether it's muted. Um, it'll show you whether the unit is being calibrated uh, on the screen. So there's a couple of options that will um, be available immediately. Just in terms of the warranty, we believe that this is the most comprehensive uh, warranty in the market. So you can have an, uh, a warranty. The standard warranty is two-year uh, two warranty. As soon as you um, 
uh, register a device with Nareva console, which I'll explain in a moment. Uh, you immediately get upgraded to a three-year warranty uh, with the purchase price of the unit. And then you can purchase extended warranties to give you up to a five-year uh, manufacturer's warranty. And in terms of HDL uh, 300 and dual, um, you can see just a reminder of the room size. Um, but also that uh, increase in processing power that you get with the dual system. So it's processing uh, more audio, which is what allows it to cover those even larger spaces with uh, that microphone pickup. Just in terms of some names of uh, companies that are already using this technology, um, and obviously we have more, but these are the ones that we're allowed to share. So. Um, some of these are, are international, some are from the UK. Obviously, for anybody that's uh, in the UK that's listening to this call, you'll recognize some of those brands, I'm sure. Um, and as I say, we have others as well. Um, so the important thing here is that this is now an established technology platform. And most of these customers started with the HDL 300 because that was the original product. And they started with rooms where they were experiencing problems, either hard surfaces like glass, um, rooms where uh, microphones uh, were being interrupted by things like uh, air conditioning units, um, medium to large size spaces where a, you know, a sort of cheap microphone in the centre of the table just wasn't man enough for the job. And then what they've begun to realise as they've um, used the technology is that because it works well and can be deployed easily and at scale, uh, the majority of the customers that you see on here are now buying uh, units for 10 20, 30, 40, 50 rooms now. In terms of the uh, Nareva console, um, it's officially actually being launched this month. Uh, the platform is free. Um, so this is an upgrade to what is currently an in-room piece of software that Nareva call Room Manager. That's being uh, replaced with console. So console is a cloud-based platform um, available through a web browser um, and provides a central secure dashboard um, where you can manage all of your devices. Uh, and I'll try to just hint at some of the additional things that are coming with console as well. So there's two different sides to console. There's the actual cloud uh, dashboard on the left hand side. And then there's the uh, console client, um, which you would install onto your local device. And that pairs the um, uh, HDL product, the actual physical hardware that's connected via USB um, to the console in a secure way and registers it into the platform. So the key things about this, um, the one on the right hand side I've already mentioned, which is the extended warranty. Um, but in, out of the box, you will get full remote management. So the ability to manage and fine tune your systems um, adjust settings on, a, on an individual room basis um, and deploy things like firmware updates so that as the technology improves, those firmware updates will be delivered um, into console and then you as uh, managers of the technology can decide when you deploy those updates um, and you can deploy them through the console interface. Um, but there's also other things that uh, are gonna be looked at in terms of integrating with other devices so Nareva are actively exploring how they can um, have the ability to um, introduce third party hardware into uh, their console environment. Because there is a piece of software running on a local device in the room, they're looking at how they can actually control other peripherals. And they're also looking at how they can start to integrate at that cloud level as well um, to create integration with other third party cloud solutions. So I've mentioned some of these already, but just to make sure that we're clear. Um, so the uh, console will provide full support for the Nare all Nareva hardware. Um, it gives you the ability to adjust the actual audio settings on the devices. Um, it gives you the ability to define what goes on that LED screen on the HDL 200. Um, you can de view device information and status. So make sure your systems are up and running, make sure they're live. If, you, if IT was to take a call from somebody who was saying they've got a problem, 
you'll be able to log in and see the status of that unit live. You will be able to adjust the active zone control. So if somebody said that they were having a problem, um, you could actually try and start adjusting settings such as the active zone um, uh, remotely. Um, and then also the actual specific game controls for the UC and C platform that you're using, as well as remote firmware updates. Initially, the console is only available for Windows, but within the next couple of months, there will be a release for Mac uh, computers as well. So this is just a snapshot of the interface. Uh, it's currently in beta, so we're not actually doing a live demo of the software today. Um, but as I say, it's due to launch in a couple of weeks time. Uh, you can see here that you've got your list of devices on the left hand side. Uh, obviously, you can assign them to rooms, uh, the current software version and the status. Uh, you can do things like ta uh, introduce tags uh, and group uh, rooms together as well. Um, and then when you drill into each of these uh, rooms, you'll get the ability to see specific information or controls on those devices. So just as a summary of some of the key benefits, um, scalability uh, can be achieved because you can confidently specify microphones in rooms of up to 15 meters by nine meters. We don't think that there's any manufacturer that can offer that breadth of scalability in terms of guaranteeing good quality microphone pickup. Um, the Nareva console is a missing piece of uh, the puzzle from our side. Um, and we know a lot of customers who are very keen to be able to manage their devices uh, remotely pre-COVID. But now that COVID has come along and uh, most people um, are being encouraged to try and minimize their travel and social distancing, it becomes even more important that you can access everything remotely um, to be able to manage it and control it um, from an IT support. Uh, standpoint. Um, and then I mentioned the warranty already. Um, the third year warranty is free and the ability to um, uh, have a fourth or fifth year warranty if you wanted uh, that warranty to be extended even further. So this is a slide from Nareva themselves. So it's called Our View of the Future, but it's very much um, written from their standpoint. So there's a number of trends that they believe are going to happen, um, with some of which I've mentioned already. Um, firstly, uh, a reduction in the actual office real estate. So we've heard many uh, organizations already talking about the, um, uh, the fact that a percentage of their workforce may remain working remotely forever um, or for a foreseeable period of time. And that will lead people to, to question how many um, desks they need, how, how much office space they need, but also what is the purpose of the space that they do keep. Um, we believe that there will be a reduction in the number of traditional meeting rooms, but an increase in the number of shared spaces um, or multi-purpose spaces. Um, and potentially this idea you've got of collaborative corridors, reconfigured conference rooms, um, which become more multi-purpose and also open um, collaboration. So I mentioned the active zone control earlier. Another um, uh, element of what Nareva are looking at is how they can make that even more aggressive so that um, when you turn on active zone control, it can provide almost a form of gating around the area that you've got um, in order for it to um, uh, remove background noise. Uh, if you were to deploy this into open collaboration spaces. So um, the other thing I'll also quickly mention is um, uh, certainly in higher education and universities, um, a lot of them are looking at how they can continue to achieve a classroom or teaching experience um, whilst having 50% of the students uh, connected remotely. Um, so this idea of hybrid meetings or hybrid teaching and learning, um, we believe is gonna be very much part of the new normal. Um, so you can look at this from a kind of real estate perspective, or you can look at it from a um, demand for video perspective, but on either angle, there's a requirement to try and enable spaces and potentially enable them flexibly and fast um, uh, within the majority of organizations. 
So at this point, I'd like to thank uh, you for attending the webinar um, if you need to drop off. But um, just as a quick summary slide, um, scalability is our key word. Um, but also, this is a very flexible solution. It can be deployed into all kinds of different configurations of spaces. Um, and all you really have to choose is which of those three options is required based upon the size of the physical space. So with that in mind, um, we will just check whether there are any questions that have appeared in the chat. So I've got a question that's appeared saying, uh, is it Microsoft Teams certified? Um, the answer to that at the moment is by Microsoft officially, not yet, um, but Nerova are actively working with Microsoft um, and we are confident that there'll be an announcement being made on that uh, in, in the near future. Um, unfortunately, we can't uh, reveal any more than that at the moment, but as well as looking at Microsoft, Nerova are also working with the majority of the, the major uh, platform uh, manufacturers, sorry, um, developers, um, in order to um, gain certification for the product. We already have customers who are using the technology very, very successfully with all of those uh, platforms that we showed on the slide earlier, um, and certifications will be coming soon. Um, had another question, how does this differ from other speaker bar systems? Um, well, there's a couple of uh, big things to point out. One is that you probably notice that there's no camera built in. So a lot of camera, uh, sorry, a lot of speaker bars have cameras built into them. The reason that Nereva have chosen not to do that is they also believe that there should be flexibility over what type of camera and what position you put your camera. Um, so for example, at the moment, in this particular room, we're using the cameras at the top of the screen, but actually, um, we want to move it to the bottom of the screen so that it's much lower and closer to the eye level um, of the people in, in the room. Um, but the HDL is mounted high up on the wall to provide um, the best uh, microphone pickup. So uh, choices around where you put your camera uh, and what type of camera brand you use in order to ensure that you have the same options to choose the best quality uh, of camera is one uh, difference. Another example is the Microphone Mist technology, which is patented. So all of the unique features that um, I mentioned earlier around things like intelligent sound targeting and active zone control, as well as just the actual microphone pickup, they are unique to Nereva as well. Um, and I suppose it goes back to that point that I made earlier, which is ultimately we don't think that even though there are lots of brands of speaker bars in the market, there's anybody who can offer this uh, range of coverage for uh, microphones um, uh, all the way up to 15 meters by nine meter pickup. Um, another question that's come in here, do HDL duals have to be next to each other uh, in the room? Uh, no, they don't. Um, on, in the picture on the left hand side, it does show that. Um, but there are a range of different options that you can have depending upon um, either how you want your active zones to be set up because each unit can have a, a, um, an active zone um, which is which starts from where the actual unit is installed. Um, the units also have speakers built in um, but you can disable that and use an external sound system if you prefer but um, often people will choose the positioning of the dual HDLs based upon speaker coverage. Um, and then there's also some optimum configurations to create the correct uh, microphone pickup, um, which we might need to look at when, when uh, you're deciding upon how you configure that room. And then finally, I also obviously mentioned earlier um, that there is the option of um, using the dual system in a room with a divisible wall um, <clears throat> and then you would decide on the positioning of that based upon how it's going to be used as single rooms as well as when the rooms are opened up. Um, so potentially on opposite walls, for example, uh, rather than side by side. Um, have we had any other questions come in, Michael? No, I don't believe so. Okay. 
in that case, it just leaves me to say thank you very much for listening. Uh, we hope this has been useful uh, and interesting. Um, and if you would like to learn any more, please contact us afterwards where we can happily provide um, uh, additional demonstrations. We have trial units available uh, and we uh, hope to hear from you soon.